The following program is sponsored by Friends of Life Outreach International. On this special episode of Life Today. Betty and I are thrilled to be in your home. This is going to be one of the most important programs that we ever aired. But Betty, we're going to show our viewers the first trip we ever made in Mozambique. And I met a little boy that became my little buddy. Well, let me just tell you this. That little boy, he changed our life. Next on Life Today. I want to welcome you to life today. Betty and I are thrilled to be in your home. This is going to be one of the most important programs that we ever aired. Uh, we're going to have some memories come back. And uh, you're going to see the parallel between uh, two of the memories. But Betty, we're going to show our viewers the first trip we ever made to the mission fields of starvation in Mozambique. And we're in one of the largest refugee camps, and I met a little boy that we were giving food to that became my little buddy. And you can see him right there. And Betty just commented a while ago, we saw that photograph for the first time. And she said, I wish you'd grow your hair back long like that. Well, let me just tell you this, that little boy he changed our life. And he always will be a little buddy. Because when I asked him about the soup they were drinking, he had a little cup. And I basically was asking him if it was, he liked it and it was good. He said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing you need to know is that because a little buddy we met millions of little buddies in Betty, and we basically never left. And we came home not knowing if our viewers would help the starving. And we sold everything in this building laid on the ground, tilt up concrete, laid on the ground, ready to be tilted up for television. We didn't have a decent facility because we weren't gonna take any money to do anything but save kids, and we've saved. Now you think about it. 18 million lives. It was a few years ago that they reported the governments of Africa that we'd saved 13 million, and now we've found out in the last year, 18 million. Who would have ever thought that would happen, Betty, from just meeting a little buddy and you fall in love with these precious children? You do, James. And you know, God knew we needed a little buddy. He needed someone that would really grab our hearts so that we could see and feel and know the need that was there. Because, James, you know, my perception, especially of Africa, was it's a place far away. And I couldn't imagine. And I was a little afraid when we first went that way. But it did not take long for my heart to be touched and know that it's something we could do to make a difference in the lives of these children. We could save their lives. And Betty, we couldn't do it without our viewers. And I want you to listen to stories that are going to be told, Betty, that's going to kick in real firm with me and Betty. And after you've seen this, you're going to know why. But I want you to listen to a mother a wife that is an example of the millions of people we've not only touched and fed, but we have saved their lives. We, meaning you, just as big, to us even bigger than any aspect other than the missionaries. And the missionaries will still say, you're the bigger reason for the saved lives. Watch carefully. Focused and prayerfully, please. Quero ajuda para informar meus filhos para amanhã. I'm here really asking for help, especially for my children, so that they can get better education, so that tomorrow they may not be criminals. My name is Ashton, and I'm a journalist for Life Today. 
Recently in Angola, I met a precious mother named Madalena. And while it's difficult to convey Madalena's broken heart to those who weren't there that day, we made her promise that we would do our best. Before Madalena's husband tragically passed, they had six children together, including this sweet girl, Generosa. As Madalena told us their names, we saw a palpable sadness in her eyes when she spoke the name of her youngest child, Julia. Julia Castelo Branco Muteca. Just two months ago, Madalena had suffered the worst loss a mother could face. Her daughter, Julia, had died as a result of malnutrition. Julia was four years old. Ela já estreita, mas quando ela emagreceu, o hospital só falou comigo, João. Ela falava, mana, vamos em casa. Vamos no papá. Your other children, I know we have one of them sitting just over here. Do they remember Julia? Ela sempre pergunta, sempre fala tanto da tigela da Julia. Dear Heavenly Father, I know that you can see Madalena. So I pray for her today, Lord, that you would give them all that they need, more than enough food. So remember the poor. Remember the widow. Remember Julia. Together we can make sure that another child just like her won't die, simply because they don't have enough food. You see, Betty and I can really understand about the, the, the little girl, four years old. We had our little girl 10 times that long, 40 years. Our Robin, our miracle baby. Mm -hmm. She left three teenagers. She now has four grandchildren. She sees from heaven. We know the weight of losing a child. We also know the joy of giving children life. Betty, when I talked about Little Buddy's Cup and people watched us pouring soup, porridge into tin cans and they would burn their little hands because we have to heat it. The water everywhere is not really uncontaminated so you have to boil it. And you're the ones that gave the colored bowls that you began to see later. You insisted that we not let them burn their hands on tin cans or plastic bags that would burn through. And you just never have stopped loving. Betty, our viewers have saved so many mothers' children and so many families. I just wish they could understand what that means. I do too. And, mo and important about these bowls too is you can serve more of a level amount so that it goes further because in the containers they had, it was hard to measure how much we were giving them. I mean, we'd run out so many times, James. And so I'm so grateful in many ways for the bowls. It doesn't burn their hands and it gives them what they need for their nourishment. But you've done that with us for many years. Some of you have. Some of you, maybe it's the first time. I hope and pray that God puts it on your heart to do something to help these children. They deserve a chance at life. These mothers deserve to watch their children grow up. We had three beautiful children. One of them lived for 40 years before God took her on to be with him. But we got 40 years. This mother got four years with her little baby. That is so sad to me. She didn't get to see her baby grow up, James. So let's make the difference for these families, for these mothers. They watch their, their whole lives. Let's give and help them live. See, it's really hard for me not just to start weeping because I still remember what it was like when our little girl was gone. But please, I've said to you many times, were it not for you, we would join the missionaries and all we could do is weep because we couldn't do anything about the problem except weep. Those missionaries oftentimes move their entire family from another country to a place where they don't even speak the language and they plant their life there to save lives and they say the worst thing in the world is to be empty handed and our hearts are broken and we've been able to help mend their hearts and give them hands full of not just love, 
but the ability to meet the need. And you're the ones that put that ability in their hands. You not only put the food there, you put the bowls there, and many times twice as many show up. And if you can't apportion it, you will run out halfway through. But like Betty said, there are actually measuring lines here. So you can apportion, we give this much today, and then we'll try to be prepared for more tomorrow. We know more are coming because they heard there's hope and there's life. Please, I ask you with all my heart to ask God to lead you and enable you to make the largest gift of life you've ever made because you will be giving life as an expression of love. Please do it, even as you watch Tammy expressing love and me and Betty showing the miracle you have become when you share. In rural Africa, it is extremely rare to find a mother who has not lost at least one child before their fifth birthday. And what makes their loss so unbearable is a majority of their children's deaths could have been prevented. I mean, truly, if I think about it, I don't think I would, would ever see that. Um, when I come to a country like this and walk into a place like this and I've got this precious little baby laying here, laying here so fragile, so tiny, and she is dying because she has no food. It's ridiculous when I think about it and to, to, to also know that there, there is a solution. There's a solution. I, I... <sighs> Having little or no food can be devastating for a young child whose immune system has not fully developed. The lack of nutrients can lead to severe malnutrition, resulting in critical weight loss, skin diseases, mental impairment, and if not treated in time, death. This little child was born in February and... Uh, died in May. Died in May. Do you think that we should just sit here and weep? It certainly merits it. God, I've done lots of that, but I've been able to do tears of joy and gratitude because of our viewers who say we will not leave the missionaries empty handed. We will give them the porridge mix. And we have fed at crisis times when necessary, we meaning you, a million children a day. Right now we're focused on the hardest hit areas, many of them terrible droughts, sometimes war, sometimes just extreme difficulty from the crisis of the economy that's being shattered all over the world in some ways. And right now we're feeding 350,000 a day. And we means all of us because we can't. We can care, we can go, we can send the lives there for over 30 years. Betty and I have spent our lives and Betty was nearly paralyzed over there because she had to ride jump seats that just nearly destroyed her back because she was the smallest one. And the roads are blown up and never repaired because of the misuse of money and leadership but we save lives and change lives and we win people to Christ. 18 million people, lives have been saved, but Betty, 30 million people have come to Christ who've actually signed some form of commitment and asked for follow-up. And without you even knowing it, you, with your overflow, we've translated into virtually every dialect in Africa, which there are many, and that was very expensive. But because you would give, and we said, if we get beyond it, what we need, Whatever that is, will go into an equal need. And we do so many things. We, meaning these viewers, all of you, we save lives. And right now we've got 350,000 located. And I can promise you that will grow because when the word gets out, people begin streaming there. And so we're asking you right now for a miracle. We're asking for the greatest outpouring of support perhaps you've ever given. Think, think about this. 
we talked about losing our daughter. Our daughter was a St. Louis Cardinal fan, and she put Cardinals all over the house, not only because she was a Cardinal fan, but because she just thought the Cardinal was so beautiful. And I think it's amazing that our staff decided they wanted to give you this beautiful gift. And you make a gift of $1,000, you're going to make it possible for 100 children to be fed. $1,000. We want to say thank you. We have some other gifts for you. We, we have this incredible journal, the Life Planner, that you're going to love the way it's laid out, the inspiration, and the way you can take notes. And then we have a beautiful bowl. It's, a, it's a, literally God's promise serving bowl. It's his blessings being served, which is what you're doing. Betty, I'm praying that, and I've said this for so many years, God, someday, let every person watching give something. Could this be that day? Would you please, could you give $30 to feed three children for the next months? Could you give 50 to feed five? Could you give 100 to feed 10? But Betty, what about feeding with a $1,000 gift. Would you do that, please? Would you feed 100 children, Betty? Would you ask our donors to please, please become the miracle somebody prays for and they desperately need? If your heart really wants to be blessed, you'll give to help us to feed these children. We have felt more blessed. We went over there to see the need and see what we could do for them. Yes, we can feed them, save their lives, but we came away with so much more. And I feel like you feel that way when you give toward this feeding program. You give and God blesses and he blesses you too. It is so blessed to give. There is no greater blessing than becoming a blessing and no greater blessing than giving life itself and eternal life because we point them to the way of life, eternal life through Jesus. And because they've seen his love demonstrated, they respond. Please get your checkbook, bank card, use it like a check, dial that number or go online and you make the greatest gift you ever have given, even in size, because you're giving the greatest gift. You're actually giving life. Across the continent of Africa, children are suffering, facing severe malnutrition and even death. With food reserves gone and many areas experiencing severe famine, we urgently need to replenish supplies to keep feeding the 350,000 children who are counting on us. Through Life's Mission Feeding Outreach, your gift of love can be an answer to prayer for a hurting and hungry child in their time of need. Call now with your life-saving gift of $30, $50, or $100 to help feed and care for three, five, or ten children for three full months. With your gift of any amount, we'll send you the brand new Life Planner. Bound in soft-touch leather, this planner will help you with your daily walk with space for you to record your appointments, goals, inspirational notes, and prayers. With your gift of $100 or more, please request the God's Promise Serving Bowl. This beautiful and versatile ceramic bowl is decorated with 2 Corinthians 9, 8 and will make a lovely addition to your table or home. Finally, with your gift of $1,000 or more to help feed and care for 100 children, be sure to request our inspiring bronze sculpture, Consider the Birds, inspired by Jesus' words in Matthew 6, 26. This is the last day. Please call, write, or make your gift online. Now you might have heard me refer before to malnutrition as the silent killer. And that's because it comes like a thief in the night and it steals a child's life away. Silently, many times an unknown and nameless child, another small little grave, but a life, a life that is lost because of something that we can so simply solve, a life stolen away simply because there wasn't enough food. The desperation you can see written all over this child because this little body is fighting a fight that chances are it will probably lose. 
a fight of life and death. It's a tragedy of epic proportion because more than 200,000 of these children die each and every month on the continent of Africa. And it can actually be changed pretty simply. If we can get to these villages where this child comes from, and we can get mission feeding into those villages, what we're able to ensure is that we wind that clock back. We retell that story. Where instead of going to bed without a meal that day, that child goes to bed having received an orange bowl filled with the most nutritious food, nourishing its body and saving its life. That's why we say mission feeding saves lives because it does. But mission feeding doesn't happen just by us being here. Saving this child's life doesn't happen because of us. It happens because of you. Please do whatever you can do and give the very best gift that you can give today. Give the gift of life. Betty, I want us to go home today and we always give to every program, every, by that I'm talking about whatever it is, water, rescue life, everything. And of course, feeding. We're going home today. I want us to write another thousand dollar check today. Sure. And some of you may have given, and I hope you'll consider it that level. I can't imagine anybody not wanting to save lives when we're able, because of what you do, to put something in that bow. And what we put in that bow gives life to the children many mothers are praying so fervently for. It gives the miracle that people desperately hope for but could not imagine happening. And we have watched it happen to save the lives right now of 18 million precious children. I you know, James, I was sitting there watching those mothers, watching their babies die. And I think that mother would give her own life to be able to feed her babies, to give them the nourishment they need. But she can't do that. That hurts a mother so much. I pray that you understand that. And as we give today, as you give today, give with an open heart, knowing that you're feeding a baby for their mother so she can watch them grow up. Please do that with us. Many mothers walk many kilometers trying to get enough food to make some milk for their babies. They don't have enough to eat. Not only not enough to live, not even enough to make milk for their babies. God, we've watched mother's loves Mother's love poured out, spilled out. When your love in us is the answer so rapidly, miraculously, listen, love is a miracle. Unconditional, redemptive God love, the love that he has expressed through his family, through his body, who were his hands, reaching out in love to provide life. Would you be the hands of Jesus? Would you give a cup of soup in his name for his glory to give life now and life eternal? Because the missionaries will not only proclaim it, they will have first demonstrated it because of you. Please go to the phone where people are calling right now to get right with God to be prayed for, and it's paid for by love. Go to that number. Go online right now. Take your bank card, use it like a check. If you write a check, make it to life. If you take your bank card, use it like a check. But I'm asking you, please, please, may we see the greatest outpouring of love right now mm -hmm. that will just spill over and provide miracles everywhere. The miracle of life. We have gifts for you, but you are giving the greatest gift. Please do it, and I thank you. Across the continent of Africa, children are suffering, facing severe malnutrition, 
and even death. With food reserves gone and many areas experiencing severe famine, we urgently need to replenish supplies to keep feeding the 350,000 children who are counting on us. Through Life's Mission Feeding Outreach, your gift of love can be an answer to prayer for a hurting and hungry child in their time of need. Call now with your life-saving gift of $30, $50, or $100 to help feed and care for three, five, or ten children for three full months. With your gift of any amount, we'll send you the brand new Life Planner. Bound in soft touch leather, this planner will help you with your daily walk with space for you to record your appointments, goals, inspirational notes, and prayers. With your gift of $100 or more, please request the God's Promise Serving Bowl. This beautiful and versatile ceramic bowl is decorated with 2 Corinthians 9.8 and will make a lovely addition to your table or home. Finally, with your gift of $1,000 or more to help feed and care for 100 children, be sure to request our inspiring bronze sculpture, Consider the Birds, inspired by Jesus' words in Matthew 6.26. This is the last day. Please call, write, or make your gift online. But I do want to remind you, this is the last day. Uh, it's the last day you can ask for the cardinals. They won't be offered after today. I want to remind you, you're in gifts. You get tax credit. That saves you money, so you have more to give. And uh, the greatest gift was the gift of Jesus. How about we make the great gift of life because of the gift he made? Betty, I sure thank God for what these beautiful people mean to so many all this past year and what it's going to mean for the rest of people's lives. Betty and I say thank you. And you have a great next year, great new year, and many more. Thanks for helping others have more, more life. Thank you. Life Today is made possible by the supporters of Life Outreach International. Your gift will be used exclusively for the exempt purposes of life. The ministry features specific outreaches as examples of the programs it supports and conducts. Gifts are considered to be without restriction as to use unless explicitly stipulated by the donor. The ministry is a member of the ECFA.